Here is part of the chamber of a water pump for a Samson washer. Here is a ball of fuzz, some stuffing from a blanket. This little ball of fuzz stuck in this chamber is what caused me to spend about an hour of my day fixing this washer, determining why it would not drain on its own. This video is going to show you what I did to be able to determine the issue and how to fix it. This Samsung washer is having issues where it will not drain. So you can see the example. Hit start. Nothing happens. Before it was showing the code 5 echo, which if you look in the user manual, that code signifies that there's a clog somewhere that's drained. What it tells you to do if you have this problem is hit power, turn it off, turn the device back on, and put it to spin, and then hit start. And you can hear it humming, and it's not doing anything. In the manual, it tells you to then call um, for service on this, but we're going to fix it ourselves so we don't have to waste a lot of money on having a technician do something that you can do your own. And if you smell, you can smell something. Um, and it's more likely the pump. Either it's clogged or it needs a new pump. So first we're going to check it for a clog. Um, and if we can't fix it after checking for a clog, we're going to order the pump and replace the pump. First step will be to unplug the device. Turn your water off. The bad part is this entire washer is completely full of water. So, got a bucket here. And looks like gravity is going to allow it to drain. This will help so it make such a big water mess as I uh, open the back side of this washing machine. I want to make some room for me to work, so I'm going to uh, take these hoses off, get them out of the way. Right here in the back, right there is the water pump. So we're going to check all the hoses and see if something's clogged. Maybe that's the reason why it won't drain. If nothing's clogged, um, I'll have to inspect the pump and find out if I need to replace the pump or not. While it's draining, we're going to uh, remove this back panel with the four screws. And this panel slides right off. And right down here in the corner is where the water pump is. It'll kind of push this tub out of the way. All right, There's still a lot of water in here that I gotta drain out. So it's gonna take a minute still as it drains. Okay, now I'm gonna, um, Pull the hoses off the pump here. See, this is pretty dirty. I've had this uh, washer for about four years now. And I got most of the water I can, but fortunately it's gonna leak some as I pull these hoses off. And I'll just have to deal with the water. Let's take off this first hose right here. It's a clamp, I can take it off with my hand, it's not too tight. To pull that off, it's probably going to start leaking water everywhere. There's this clamp right here. Pull that one off. I think that's where it's going to really start leaking. Right as I pull this hose off. Yep, oh, I got my bucket here off camera. Okay, there we go. Uh, 
All right, the hose is kept draining. I just took it off here and shoved it up on that spring to hold it in place. Now what I'm gonna do is take off that screw and then back here, look, need to look uh, back behind this part of the pump, you'll see another screw similar to that one. So I need to remove those screws now. Then I have the other similar screw. So I'm gonna get the light on there for you. That's back there that I'll take off. I think we can see it better. It's right back there is that screw. So the screw. Now your pump will come right up there. We just gotta connect the wire. So first to give me some more room, I'm gonna take off this screw right here. This pipe right here, this hose. Hose is off. Now we can pull the pump up and out. Alright, I have the pump completely removed. Alright, see this rubber piece right here? The other one's actually stuck down in there still. I'll pull this piece out, get out of my way, put it down there where the other one is. Now I'm gonna remove the wire, that's electrical wire that's hooked to it. There's this protective piece right here that will slide right off. And then I can just disconnect the wire, electrical adapters under there. There's this little uh, clip that's holding on the wire. Just grab some needle nose and I can squeeze it and push it on through. <laughs> that piece will slide off. Now I've got the pump completely removed. Now I'm going to look at it and see if it's plugged anywhere. So before I go spend a about a hundred bucks on a new pump. I'm gonna take this one apart and see if maybe it's plugged or clogged in here. And if I can clean it out and maybe it'll work. Put my finger in the hole. I can feel some gunk up in there. So it's, we're gonna take this thing apart. So this electrical piece right here, it's got these gray clamps. One right there, one on the inside. I'm gonna pop up those little tabs. this thing slides right off. All right. Next thing I'm going to do is take off these four screws that are right here. All right, pop this thing off. And look right there, gunk. That is what has caused this thing to not drain. It wouldn't even allow this mortar to spin. So I'm hoping it's still fine. 
We'll put it, we'll take out this gunk in here, big old ball of, uh, looks like the stuffing on the inside of a blanket. Clean that out and put it back together and see if it works. Now we'll go in reverse order and uh, put the part back together. The wires right here. You notice the wire attachments are exactly the same, but what I remembered in my head, whenever you do electrical stuff, look at it closely to make sure you put it back together. And I told myself black flat. So I called this one flat, that one vertical, so I know black went on the flat one. Here's my black wire. Yellow was vertical. And I can put this cover back in place. Alright, let's test it out, see if it works. Power. Let's hope it works. Turn it to spin. Remember last time it just sat there. Let's see what happens this time. All right. It's working. That solved the issue. I think it may have worked. We'll put in a few full loaded laundry and test it out. Now testing with a load of laundry. It's draining, it's spinning. It's working fine, all from that all of bedding that was stuck in there. Could have called it an expert and it would cost me a lot of money for him to find out the exact same thing. <laughs>